Hello, Stampers. Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. We are trying something new tonight. We are going to be using Zoom. So I am hoping I have all my fingers crossed that this is actually going to work, that I have started it at the right time, that I maybe will figure out what I'm doing. I'm still trying to find my page so I know where you guys are. So hang in there with me. We'll have a few, I'm sure, little things to work out, but I see that I am live. Okay, scroll in a little slow it's here. It's actually going Oops, to boop. Just, okay. I think I'm live. I think we're good. I see fingers going up. Not the naughty finger either. Okay, you guys, how is my sound right now? Is there any squealing going on in the background? Because I had to mute my computer so that it doesn't conflict with my phone. It's just like a whole thing. So you guys let me know. And I want to tell everybody, there is a like 13 second delay at least. So it's really hard. I can't watch myself. Um, and know what I'm saying. So I just wanna let you know that too. So maybe I'll be able to pick up on your um, comments a little bit more. Is anybody else commenting? Because those have kind of frozen on me. Oh, here they go. Okay, I see Vicki and Shelly and Jody's here and Paula, Sarah, Marlene, Bev, Kathy, Barbara, Teresa, Melinda, Jane. Everybody's popping in. Gilmore's here, Denise. Excellent, Connie popped in. Okay, it sounds good. My picture looks good, doesn't it? Like it's crystal clear. Yeah, so a few minutes ago, you guys, you would have got quite a chuckle out of it because I pushed my chair back, went to go under my desk to make sure that my charging cord was working right. And um, my chair didn't push back far enough. I still did the dive under the desk. And when I came up, my crown was like this, my hair was like this, and I was like, I was so laughing. I'm like, oh my gosh, if they could see me now. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. So anyways, um, good. We're going to try this Zoom thing. We're going to see if this works better. And um, my lips match my words, Cindy said, and Gilmore says that the sound is perfect. There's no squawking going on. So good. Okay, so I think I have everything good. Now we're going to test something else out here. We're going to touch... Oh, that's not working. Okay, so now I'm going to try to change my screen to my desktop. So hang with me while we get all these little bug things worked out. And I'm going to put my, my desk as my um, spotlight video. I still haven't done anything with my webcam because, you know, I explained my situation to you that I buy things and they stay in the box for a long time. <laughs> because I just don't want to take the time to figure them out. Yay, look at it works, woohoo! Okay, so what I found out after I called my friend Donna is that I had to have three people on my Zoom account to watch. And so um, I tried Kathy and she was out and about and then I messaged Jody and she wasn't there and then I messaged Haley and actually I messaged Haley first and she got back to me. And so she's actually on my Zoom conference call so that I can do this, so that I can do this spotlighting thing. Like what a circus, I am telling you. <laughs> I've been working on this literally now for two and a half hours. That's two and a half hours of my life I cannot get back. So that's not cool. Anyways, I'm glad that it's working and I hope we have it figured out. And. Uh, Sharon says I'm on the same time as Dina. Nope, Dina I think was on at four o'clock today. So she's done or she should be done. I can't imagine she's still on, but um, yeah, I, I don't think so. Cause I checked and Dina was on earlier today. So <sighs> thank you guys for your patience. We're gonna probably have some more technical issues like that that we're gonna have to kind of work through as a team of friends, okay? Um, yeah, just so that we can 
uh, get everything working right. And if I ever get that webcam hooked up, I know Donna is going to be all over me like a chihuahua on my heels. <laughs> so I get that webcam working. <laughs> yeah, Kim said Dina's done. Yeah, I thought Dina's done too. Okay, so today I am giving away the Parisian, oops, let me do this. Oh, no, nope, that's not going to work. See, now I'm going to be confused, you guys, giving away this paper. And this is the beautiful paper that I used for those gorgeous cards last night. Do I even, yep, I can see them here. Here's one of them. Do you guys remember this? Yeah, beautiful, right? I have a half a pack of this paper that I'm going to give away. And I did a drawing and my winner is Kelly Guy, G-U-Y. Kelly, I do not have your address. So you're going to need to message me your address. You can do it via email. My email address is Kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, spelled the same as yours, at a stampabove.com. So please email me your address. I've got your package right over here on my postage meter thing or dealer. And you guys like this different view of my office? So as I was like getting things kind of set up, I always try to make sure that it doesn't look like too much of a mess behind me because that's, that's gross, right? <laughs> Um, I won't show you the floor where I have baskets and I got stuck under my desk, but um, do you guys notice anything about my windows back here? Because as I was trying to work through it with Haley, all the problems or issues or details or whatever, I'm like looking at my window and my screen and I'm like, those are snowflakes. No wonder it's not getting warm here in Wisconsin. I still have snowflakes on my window. <laughs> I have got to get those off and I'll do that. So anyways, all right. Oh, this is working so much nicer. Donna says much clearer. Thank you so much. Yeah, congratulations, Kelly guy. Make sure you email me with your address so I can send you your prize. And um, yeah, wouldn't that be nice if I could bring baby Val up on the screen? Where'd Haley go? Haley just, she's blacked out now. Not blacked out like drunk or anything. Let's be perfectly clear. <laughs> she is actually um, made her screen black so that I can't see her anymore. I, and I can pop back and forth between the Zoom and my Facebook Live. So <laughs> yeah, she's not drunk. Okay. Anyways, um, I'm going to flip now to my tabletop so I can show you these beautiful cards that I got in the mail today. And ooh la la, love them. Hang on. Let's see if we can do this without too many problems because let's be real. I don't know what I'm doing. I just really don't. Okay, I think I got it. All right, here comes our first card. This is coming to us from Wendy Sue Winter. And is this, when I open this, I guess because Poppy Parade and black and white just make me happy. It's like, it's like, woo, right? I did, I was like, oh, that's so pretty. And Wendy says, thanks for the great door prize and all that you do for our team. Stay healthy, Wendy Sue, and look how pretty the inside is. So Wendy is one of my team members and she was one of the door prize winners from my team meeting a few weeks ago. So Wendy, thank you so much. This is beautiful. Then I got this jewel. This is coming to us. I should keep the um, addresses out of here. This is coming to us from Linda Gilbert from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Look at that. She used that layout and look how beautiful her card is. Isn't that so pretty? And Linda sent me a little note here and it says happy. Oh, this was a note that she sent. She sent these cards out to her friends and she says, happy everyday wishes. You are very special to me. And I want you to know, I think of you more often than just at Christmas. May your lives be filled with every blessing you deserve and or desire to make your life richer and more beautiful than it already is. My prayers are also with each of you that you are healthy and remain so throughout this traumatic time in our history. And she says, Kelly, this is what I sent to all my lady friends on my Christmas list. And what a great thing to do. She told me that she was going to do this. And she did. And she sent beautiful cards and this note to all of her Christmas list ladies. And I thought that was just phenomenal. It's a fantastic idea. Who doesn't want to get a beautiful card in the mail right now when they're dealing with all the blah, blah, right? 
Then I got this beautiful card from Sherry Simon of Spokane, Washington. Look at those pretty sunflowers. And then this embossing folder is gorgeous. I love it. And she says, happy Mother's Day. Congrats on your first grandbaby. Happy Grandmother's Day. Val is a true beauty. And she decorated the inside and she decorated her envelope here too. So isn't that just so pretty? I love, love, love it. Yeah, I think you guys, as I'm looking at my Facebook page, as long as our streaming remains good, I think that we are going to be very happy with this Zoom. Before I go too much further, this is the poppy set. And I forgot Wendy also decorated that envelope. So I didn't want to leave that out. Now I have this gorgeous, beautiful card. This is from, oh, hang on. This is from Linda Smith. And look at how gorgeous that is with the ornate garden. I need to zoom in a little bit. Well, you, I don't know that you can really zoom in. I don't want to, I don't want to mess with things. <laughs> how about if I just hold it up a little, a little higher? Oh, we'll try zooming next time. Okay. But thank you for letting me know, Peggy. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, yeah, look at the ornate garden. One, two, three. Beautiful. And that diamond on there is just a gorgeous little accent. This purple paper that has little flowers on it, that's from the Best Dressed Designer Series Paper Pack. I used that for a kit class. And um, uh, I think I made several cards with that so far. Look at the inside. This is all, again, the ornate garden dyes. These are so, so beautiful. <coughs> and it says, thank you for my wink of Stella. I couldn't believe when you announced my name as a winner. I am so glad I found you and became part of your team. You have an infectious personality and are such a wonderful team leader with all the creativity you inspire. Thank you for sharing your home, fam, and family each week. I look forward each day to your Facebook Lives for the card-making ideas and tips and tricks, but also the stories you share. Thanks also to Haley for sharing her story in those beautiful scrapbook pages. Love the pictures of little Val. She's a very lucky girl to have Grandma Kelly and Mama Haley in her life. Have a wonderful Mother's Day, and how sweet are you? Isn't that just sweet? That just made my day. So make sure you guys, whatever the reason, send the cards out. I, it just makes me feel like I'm on top of the world. Look at all the cards. People need a card. Okay, next we have, this one is from Maureen Preston. She is from Silver Springs, New York. Look at how pretty that is. Strips of designer series paper, you guys. This is a great way to use up that paper, stamp your sentiment at an angle like that. I love this. And then of course the bling never hurts a thing. Thank you so very much for helping me mentoring when we last talked. Your kindness has meant so much to me. Can hardly wait for the next six months technique club. Your friend Maureen. And Maureen sent in her um, online rewards. So I'm going to be sending, ordering her um, what she wanted. You get $30 in anything you want. It's like the same as cash. Once you complete six months in my online technique club. And if anybody would like information on that, when this video is done, I will post all the links to my blog, to my store, to my online club. If you want to join my team as a discount shopper or build a business, all those links will be above the video that I'm going to share with you when we're done being live. You have to kind of check back into it. So Maureen, you are very welcome. Thank you so much for your beautiful card. Then. We have Jane. Look at how pretty this is. This is absolutely gorgeous. And we have a stamped envelope to go with it. I love this. I love this layout. A little bit and a little bit bigger. This is another great way to use up those designer series paper scraps. And look what she did to the inside. Isn't that pretty? Just a, another little scrap there, but I like this. Jane says, thank you so much for the frosted flower embellishments. I will make good use of them. Thank you for all of the videos you have been sharing. I learned so much from them. You rock. Thanks, Jane. You rock too. Isn't this gorgeous? I love it. Okay, so, and Jane gave me this card and didn't write it in it. I will be using that. I always need thank you cards. I'm going to set that one over here. 
All right, you guys, are we ready to stamp? I don't think I have anything too crazy to tell you today. Um, Steve and I did go out into the public. So hang on just a second. I'm gonna see if I can be a little fancy. Let's see if Kelly can be fancy. There. So Steve and I went out into public today and we went to Costco. And Haley was asking me, how was that? And I'm like, well, it was pretty disappointing because there were no samples. And if you've ever been to Costco, you know that the samples of the food is probably your favorite part. <laughs> but we were there to, he had to get a bunch of stuff. He buys his coffee there and granola and I don't know what else he got. Well, it was quite a bit actually because it was expensive. Today was my retail therapy day. <laughs> Anywho, um, while we were there, I also picked up a new Igloo Cube cooler. So, you know, like one of those big on the wheels with the handle. Really nice. I don't know if we really need it or not, but if we don't, my mom needs a new cooler, I'm pretty sure. So I could give it to her, but it was just really nice. And then we picked up some cool toys. So I didn't tell Haley this, but Haley, I got you this air mattress that has a spot here and then a spot down here, like you would lay on it. But, but I thought that would be really nice for you to have Val in this summer. So just saying. And we also stopped at Fleet Farm because he had to get some ramps and some plywood and some things. And I bought a whole bunch of other pool toys there <laughs> because as long as we're there, we're ready. We're ready for the pool. I'm telling you, if I get these snowflakes off my window, we're going to be pool bound in just a few days, don't you think? I know, I know, it's dumb. We won't. Okay, I think, hang on, I'm not, not ready yet. I gotta get my cheat sheet out. And I have to get my cutie patootie card out. So who understood what I was saying when I said, we're gonna be stamping till the cows come home? Did you guys get that? Yeah, so I'm flipping the camera around again. Gosh, I feel like, I feel pretty professional. I probably don't sound that professional. <laughs> I don't ever want to sound that professional. Okay, here's our layers, you guys. We are going to, let me pull out some of the things here. Over the Moon. Over the Moon is just the cutest stamp set. I'm really sad it's retiring. I have made a lot of things with it over the last couple of years. Hang on, something, it says something on my phone. Hang on, I got to pull it out. The host has spotlighted you. Oh, it, did, it was nothing. I don't want volume on on my phone. Otherwise, it'll screech in your ear. That's what I was afraid was going to happen. <laughs> Amy says her dog doesn't want me to watch her. What's your dog's name? I could talk to him and calm him down. What's wrong with that dog? <laughs> okay. Over the moon. Super, super cute. And... um. I also decided to bring in the Stitched So Sweetly dies. Now I'm missing, oh, here's a couple. So you get all of these scalloped stitched rectangles and then you guys have seen me use these over the last few days. And a little earlier last month, remember this? This is part of this and now we're gonna use these. So, so cool. Yeah, I love this card, I can't wait. I can't wait for somebody to get sick so I can send it to them. No, that wasn't nice, I'll wait. It'll be okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer here because we're going to need to do a little bit of scoring. Now, if you're in need of a new paper trimmer, this is a very nice one. It's only $25. It's big. It has an arm that goes out to 17 plus inches, a scoring blade, a cutting blade. I love, I really like this. It's also got a hole. You can hang it up on a screw or a nail on your wall. It's, it's pretty sweet. I actually, I'm, I'm very happy with it. Okay, four and a quarter by, oh, I didn't cut this. Hang on, 10 and three quarters. I don't think I cut it down. So that would have been our first disaster here. Let's see if I did. 10 and three quarters. No, nope, I'm pretty sure I didn't. Nope, here we go. So there you go. Look how nice it cuts. <laughs> okay, now let me get this in. We're going to score this. Get your cutting blade out of the way. We're going to score this at two and three quarters. And then we're just going to turn it around and score at just a smidge more. 
than two and three quarters, I think. I might have to adjust this a little bit. And where'd my bone folder go? Right here. Okay, I'm not scrolling on my screen again. Hang on. Oh, Beth was hoping that this stamp set over in the moon and the pigs would carry over. So this is gonna be a gatefold card, but I wanna make sure, oh, look it, it's not the right size. That didn't work. Oh, what did I do wrong? Quarters. Did I score it wrong? Hang on, you guys. We might have to start over. At least it's early, two and three quarters. And two and three quarters. Oh, I don't know what the heck I did. That should be in the middle. Huh, weird. I did there, I just forced it. That's so strange. Now let me measure that. Huh. Hang on, I can't tell you this wrong because that's not going to be okay with me. So let me get this, this other card out and measure. I'll, I'll write the dimensions down for you because this is not working out. One side is two and three quarters. The other side is just a little bit less than two and three quarters. That's what I did wrong. I did a little bit more than two and three quarters. Okay, so we've got it here. This is gonna work. Let me get this flattened out over here. This is all gonna be covered up, so it doesn't matter. It's kind of wrinkled right there now, but we're gonna be fine. Okay, next thing we're gonna do. Oh, I forgot to cut my black pieces. Hmm, I thought I did that. Gosh, and here I thought that I was just rocking this and doing so good. But now you get to see a little bit more about how the paper cutter works. So our black, I thought I did make black pieces. Maybe I threw them away by accident. Sometimes I do things like that. Anyways, our black pieces are five and a quarter. So let's do that. Five and a quarter, and you need two of them at one and seven eighths. Now, as long as I'm here cutting paper, I have had several people late, lately ask me about cutting paper straight. They say no matter what they do, their paper is always crooked. So here's my tip for you. You must always be keeping your paper against this backboard or whatever the guide or whatever you want to call this, okay? If you let that move a little bit, your paper is going to be crooked. But if you are keeping it against here, it is never going to be crooked because that's straight. So that could be what's happening there is you're not paying attention to this. You always have to push your paper right against that. Oops, that's not a cutting blade. Okay, so here we go. You got two pieces. These are one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. And now hopefully I have hopefully I'll cut the other pieces too. Lord, I thought I had everything done, but I did not. Okay, then you need two pieces of white. These need to be one and three quarters by five and an eighth. And you, again, you need two of those, one and three quarters by five and an eighth. Oops, I scored it. Now I cut it. See, this is why I don't cut in front of you, obviously. That was certainly challenging. No, I don't usually have too much trouble cutting. Okay, here we go. We are going to do a little bit of stamping. So one thing that I asked my friend and teammate Lisa about, this is um, Lisa Clotes, is she made a cute little candy box for me and she had it stamped up like a pattern of a cow, you know, black and white cow. And I wondered where that came from. You guys have this love what you do stamp set. This was on a pre-order from a few years ago. And I was looking to see if it actually had the year on here, but it doesn't. This stamp and this stamp right here is what we're gonna be using out of this set to make cow patterns. Isn't that super cute? So here comes my Memento Black ink pad. 
we're just going to, I like to always stamp my bigger image first, and then I can fill in with the smaller one. There we go. We'll do this one too. And you notice that I kind of move everything around. I don't want this to look uniform. We don't have uniform Holstein cows. That's what these are. And if you're, if you live in Wisconsin, you know that because we are from the dairy state. These are our dairy cows. We make cheese. That's why they call us the Green Bay Packer cheese heads. Look at that. Isn't that just like the perfect cow pattern? And of course you can make it as busy as you want it to be. I don't want to get too crazy with it. That looks good to me. This looks good to me. The other thing I wanted to do, and I'm going to use Maureen's form here. Don't worry, Maureen. I'll order your stuff when we're done with the Facebook Live. I'm going to bring my envelope in. You guys know I just use a scrap of paper for that. And we're going to do the flap on our envelope as long as we're here. Hang on. I just stuck my finger in the ink, so I'll wipe it on my pants. <laughs> I know you guys do it too. Maybe you don't. I do. This ink washes off in the laundry, which, by the way, I'm kind of proud of myself. I did the laundry today. Um, I'm seeing Haley say to Jenny, oh, I didn't know that Illinois extended theirs, uh, extended their stay-at-home order. I think they're actually getting ready to lighten up on ours, which I'm pretty excited about. Obviously, who wouldn't be? But I did see on the news that there were some kids and a guy playing baseball at a park, and somebody called the police on them, and blah, blah, blah. So it's like, really? You know, I, you know, I don't know how I feel about that. Here, here's how I feel about it. Mind your own business. That's how I feel. Um, do I think the kids should be at a park all together playing baseball? It, it, I don't know, but I just don't have a lot of respect for a tattletale. I guess that's the way I feel about it. You guys may have different feelings and that's okay. We're all entitled to our opinion, but they had all these calls on then of people calling and saying there's kids at the, at this, at a different park playing on the playground and you know everybody's calling the police and losing their whatever well the people i understand the people who are calling are you know they're tattling on somebody because they're not following the rules i get that and they're scared they you know they want this virus to go away i get that too but i mean seriously just leave them alone i guess that's how i feel about it stay home you stay home you're gonna be fine all right and that's probably the bad, a bad attitude, but that's, that's just the way I am. It's like, mind your own business. This does not concern me. It doesn't concern you. Well, I guess it does in the long run. So I'm sure I'll hear from lots of you that I'm wrong, but it's okay. I'm entitled to my opinion and you're entitled to yours. <laughs> it just is. Okay. So cutie patootie little cow. Now this little grass is super delicate. So you wanna make sure that you're not squishing it, okay? Test it out here. You don't want it to be like that. You want it to be like that. See the difference? This is pushed way too hard. This is pushed just the right amount. So um, get used to it first by stamping it on your sample or your scrap paper so that your images, when you stamp them on your actual card layers will look really nice. Look how cute it is with the little grass. I love it. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do a little coloring. And I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna see if I can zoom in on my phone a little bit. Nope, it won't let me. Okay, I tried. We tried. <clears throat> Yeah, Heather says if we feel cooped up, then the kids must, the kids are feeling horrible, right? They really, really are. And, you know, like I said, I, I understand, I get that people need to be following the rules and doing what they need to do. Granny Apple Dream Dark. I totally, totally get that. But, you know, like if, if somebody's tattling on some kids out playing baseball on a baseball diamond because they're scared of the virus, the way you cannot get the virus is to stay home. Just stay home. Like you mind your P's and Q's and don't worry about the other people. But on the other hand, I understand that if we don't follow the rules to get rid of this, it's never going to be gone. 
I get that too. I guess I'm kind of conflicted. But again, it's not my business. And I think people need to just mind their own business. Is that too harsh? So now you know me. You guys know me. You, you kind of probably figured that was going to be my attitude, didn't you? <laughs> I would think you did. Okay. So one thing that I really noticed about my cow when I was coloring my cows is that I, you don't want to use your black black, but if you use your light black, some of the cows in this, <clears throat> like this cow has a patch over its eyeball. And if you were to color that with black, you won't see that little eye, the little, you know, the little happy smiley face eyeball. So if you use the light stamp and blend black marker, you can actually see the eyeball. And we'll be doing that in just a second, but I'm gonna color my cow, my Holstein cow. Yeah, so I actually, one summer, we rented our barn out and they put dairy cows in it. And I worked for the people that brought the dairy cows in. I think that's it on my cow. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I got like a little frog in my throat. And the stanchions broke. Not the stanchions, the watering cups. They have automatic watering cups. I'm sure it's much different now. This is like a million years ago. But the watering cups didn't work in this barn. So we had to pail water, five gallon pails of water to the cows. And these were dairy cattle. So they were milking them. And Haley knows just like a nursing mama, they drink lots and lots of water, right? So now this is the light, the trazzleberry. I should have used that on a flower, but I wasn't sure. And it'll be fine. I'm just coloring the cute little boots here. So anyways, I would have to carry a five gallon pail of water to those cows. And do you know how much water a cow can drink? Like two and a half to three of those, each cow. It was hateful. And of course I didn't pay much, but it was a job and I was happy to have it. I had some good muscles when I was done. <laughs> done with that job, with that summer. But yeah, cows drink so much water. Just like mommy's, we're breastfeeding. And this, you guys, is the ivory marker. Now, the ivory marker is perfect for skin tone, which if you had people, you would want to use this on them. So make sure if you order the Stampin' Blends that you get not only the ivory, but also the bronze. This is like soft suede. It's like a really pretty brown. These come individual, but I think in the new catalog, they're gonna to come together maybe as a pack. I, it seems to me that's what I remember reading or I could be completely wrong. Anyways, ivory and bronze, love those too. Here's my cute little cow. I think I'll take my light rich razzleberry and color the center of that flower. That looks pretty good. Okay, now I, oh, I kind of jumped ahead of myself, didn't I? I use, these two dies. Here's the biggest rectangle, scalloped rectangle. Here's the next size and the next size. So the white is out of one, two, three, number three, and rich razzleberry is out of number two. I wanted to let you know what I use there. We're going to glue these two together. <clears throat> Excuse me. And there we go. Now, we're going to start putting our card together. Where's our, here's our card. We've got our pool party base that I messed up on. Here comes the cow pattern. And let's see, I got to figure out how I'm going to do this. Okay, so you're going to glue the top panel to this side of your card. You want to make sure you're centering it from left to right. There we go. And then this panel, you're going to glue on the left side, just like this. This is a fun fold. Then we're going to take this piece and we are going to put some glue on the back of the top. And we're going to add that right here. What do you guys think of the rich razzleberry? with the pool party. I just thought that was a neat combination. I think 
we had some Christmas paper that used that color combination. I thought it was pretty cool looking. And then I decided to bring in the medium daisy punch and some rich razzleberry. We're gonna punch out one, two of those and glue them together. Now, because the cow is holding the daisy here, I just thought this would be a super cute little like embellishment on the card. And then I've got a half inch circle punch and I'm gonna bring in um, the light. That's what we used on the center of this flower was the light rich razzleberry. And I'm gonna color that punch that with my half inch circle. And then we're gonna use a dimensional, whoops, whoops, it's sticking to me. Diana says the cow set is great. It's never out of style. It really isn't, it's adorable. I mean, it is great, never out of style. Okay, here we go. And then I'm going to, you can either put a dimensional on the back or you can just glue your flower down. Look at how cute this is. Okay, look at that. Now you have to be kind of careful when you open it so you don't rip your flower off, but here's how your card opens. And I will show you the original card that I received that gave me this layout as soon as we're done. So we need to do some work on the inside of our card. Oh, let's not forget our envelope flap here. Okay. What I decided to do on the inside, hang on, I gotta take my jacket off because I'm getting too hot. Woo, okay. I'm gonna take this little cow that's kind of laying down. And I have a friend that I haven't heard from since the beginning of this whole COVID deal. And I thought this would be the cutest little card to send to her. I think she's gonna love it. And then you've got this, how's it going? And I think she'll get just the biggest chuckle out of that. And then you've got this little like um, cartoon bubble. What do they call that? I don't, I don't remember. I'm gonna put that right there. Then we got a little bit more coloring to do. <clears throat> so what should we talk about now? <laughs> I don't know. I think we should talk about something good. What else happened today? Um, I can tell you that John, didn't do anything exciting today. If you guys followed me, John is our next door neighbor. And my husband tends to like to keep an eye on John. We got a new riding lawnmower yesterday. That was the big news in the neighborhood. <laughs> oh my Lord, I can't even keep a straight face talking about it. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Anyways, nothing happened. I didn't see John today. His van was gone. So, whoops, I forgot a piece of black. He must have gone to work. I don't know. But yeah, nothing exciting happened here. I got my laundry done. I didn't get it upstairs yet, but I did get it. Oh, I got to do some hooks here. I did get it folded. I got it washed, dried, and folded. So that was exciting. And oh, I know I found something really stupid that I did. So, you know, I usually only do my laundry when I run out of underwear. This may be too much information, but you know, this is how we roll. And, uh, I was emptying out my hamper. Lo and behold, there's all my socks and my clean underwear at the bottom of the hamper. I just threw all my dirty clothes on them. So no wonder I ran out of underwear. So I was like, how did I run out of underwear already? <laughs> That's how it happened, folks. Yeah. Anyways, I got my laundry done today. We got some rotisserie chicken from Costco. Did you know that Costco, they only charge like $5 for the rotisserie chicken and it's less than it actually costs most of the time. But they do that because that's such a big draw to bring people into the store is their rotisserie chicken. So they'll take a loss on it just to get people in the door. And I'll tell you what, we got some rotisserie chicken today. I think it's only $5 for the rotisserie chicken. And their plan works because $328 later, we're the proud owner of some pool toys, some clothes, um, yeah, what else, a cooler, <laughs> duh. Of course it works, right? That's how it goes. That's like when you go to Walmart, you go there for a couple of things and $200 later, you're walking out of the store going, how did that even happen? That's how it goes for me. 
it's okay if I'm in a place where I can afford it. Well, this, oh, you know what? Yeah, that's what's wrong. Something's jacked up with this because, I, oh, this is going to fit, but I don't have much margin here. I'll make sure that I remeasure this, you guys, and give you the right dimensions because, oh, I bet you I know what I did. Okay, I'm going to show you my other card that I made. That's what I did. I know. I just, you don't need to cut this to 10 and three quarters. Just leave it at 11. That was my problem. I don't know why I did that. Anyways, I made another card to match. Well, I, I always like to do a couple colors, right? So this was the first one that I made. And look at how cute it is. This is Flirty Flamingo. Oh, I forgot to color in the rest of my grass. Hang on. Um, you want to use, we use the dark granny apple green here. And now we're going to use the light. And I'm just going to come in here and I'm just going to color the grass. And don't overthink this. You see how I wasn't very careful? Yeah, don't overthink it, but it's super sweet. Oh, and I need to add some rhinestones. See, the whole um, Zoom not working right really kind of threw me off my game today. I thought, I'm going to go in there and figure this out, and we're going to be good to go tonight so that we don't have all the streaming problems. And then it tried to kick my butt. But two and a half hours later, I am still, you know, I'm stubborn. <laughs> I'm still persevering. And Healy's like, no, mom, you can do it. She's my biggest cheerleader. Okay, so I just put some rhinestones on here because why wouldn't you? Like, we need rhinestones. Oh, look, that one disappeared. Hang on, I didn't do a very good job. Try that again. There we go. Super cute. Flirty Flamingo and So Saffron. That's the only difference between these two cards. This is Rich Razzleberry and this is Flirty Flamingo. I did the same thing on the inside of this card as I did on the inside of this one. Isn't that just cute? Now, here's the original card that I got. Remember this one, you guys? Now, her element over here is smaller and this is flatter. So it opens up better than mine does. I just want you to know that. Once I got this made, I'm like, oh, this was, this was kind of big for this fold thing. But I thought, no, it's super cute. I'm gonna roll with it. But you gotta be careful when you open that up. And, <clears throat> excuse me, this came from Linda McGee and that was those cute little hedgehogs. It was a card for Haley and Jared, but look how super sweet that is. So I'll make sure that I have all my dimensions right. And I'm pretty sure that's all I did wrong here is this needs to be 11 and then it's gonna work, but I'll try one. So I don't give you bad information. If you ever find that my measurements aren't working out, please let me know so I can change them. I hate that. I don't wanna be unreliable for things like that. So Linda McGee, this is where I got the layout from. Now, this first card that I made today is Granny Apple Green and Black with the Flirty Flamingo. And I chose that because Kathy Fennell sent me a Mother's Day card that was Granny Apple Green and Black. And I just thought it was so striking. That's why I went with the Granny Apple Green here. So thank you, Kathy. And thank you, Linda, for the idea so that I could make these cutie patootie little cards. And I, my friends are just gonna giggle when they get these. Now, a lot of times people think that these are childish, these are for children, but nothing could be further from the truth. You know, we can make cards for just about anybody, except for maybe a very specific baby stamp set, right? But I think they're just stinking adorable. My friends are going to love them. <clears throat> Get yourself an over the moon stamp set if you don't have one. Man, I got to take a drink. Holy cow. Now, if you want to place an order and you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, this is my current host code. You can head right over to www.stampabove.com and you're going to find an online ordering button. Whether you look in the right-hand column or scroll down to the bottom of the, whatever blog post is there, there's an online. You can click on my name. It'll take you to my store. Um, you can get all of these supplies that I've shown you. The only thing that might not be available, I don't know if we still have a half-inch circle punch, I think it was retiring and it might be gone by now. I'm not sure. These stitched so sweetly dies are just the bomb. You definitely want to add this to your arsenal of supplies. Like I'm not even kidding. 
because these are just so fantastic. And then this was the medium Daisy Punch. I grabbed the large Daisy Puncher. I don't even know what this is just called Daisy Punch. This is medium, but look how much bigger it is. That would have totally took over my entire card. So I'm really glad that I had this medium one. There's a stamp set that goes with this too called Daisy something. I don't know. But if you do a search for the word Daisy in my online store, it'll bring up the punches. It'll bring up any stamp sets with the word Daisy in it. It'll bring up anything with the word Daisy in it. So that's a good way to go about it. And Charlene says she really likes the flirty flamingo and the grainy apple green. Yeah, it's really striking, isn't it? I think it's just beautiful. And um, like I said, I just kind of grabbed it. Oh, look how crooked that is. Oh my gosh, Kelly, what did you do? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I made it really crooked. Um, I just like pool party and rich razzleberry together. And I knew that I had Stampin' Blend markers. That's kind of why I chose that color. Super cute, right? Okay, now don't get crazy. I'm going to flip you guys back over to me. It's actually starting to get a little dark in here. I don't like that. So there we go. Super cute, right? Yeah, I love these. Now tomorrow, I already have my project made. It's going to be quick and easy unless I add to it. We're going to be doing a little treat holder which can also, you can put a treat in it. You work, I'm gonna tell you how to modify it to put a gift card in it or maybe something bigger. But it's also going to be a cute little accompaniment to the over the moon, but you're gonna love it because you can use it with anything. But we're gonna use over the moon to make the little treat holder tomorrow. And like I said, if I make another card, I can add that to it. But otherwise we're getting a treat holder. I have nine videos to make tonight <laughs> and edit and upload and get ready for my online class. I put in my order yesterday, you guys, <clears throat> for the um, by the doc kit class. This is my May kit class. This was one of the cards that I did for it. Isn't that cool? It's a gift card holder. Oh, and I found my Amazon gift card that I couldn't find the other day. So gift card holder with buy the doc. This is actually a kit class that I have on my blog right now. And again, if you go to my blog, www.sampabove.com, in the right-hand column is online classes. Click on that. It'll show you all the details about this. It's $45. It includes priority shipping. Um, you get, oh, I got it right here. <clears throat> You get a roll of denim ribbon, which is really pretty. Tags and more accessory kit, copper dotted treat bags, half a pack of Come Sail Away designer series paper, which is the designer series paper that I use here, as well as a sponge dauber. There are four different cards. You get all the card stock to make two of each. So a total of eight cards. And I'm hoping to have those cut and out in the mail by well, I said I wasn't going to get them out till the 23rd, but I'm going to try to get them out a little earlier than that. And the PDF file will also be available um, this coming Saturday at the latest. So I just wanted to let you know that. Oh, but Haley says Val is watching and listening. She misses her Nana. I know I um, didn't get to see her today and that made me kind of sad. And perhaps if I hadn't have messed around, if Facebook wouldn't be ruining my life, with all their shenanigans, I could have saw Val today, but instead I had to learn myself and how to use Zoom and it's working, right? <laughs> Excuse me. So, um, it is what being deleted out of the catalog, Vicki. I missed maybe what your first question was. Hi, Judith Sigler. So happy to see you. You're always just such a pleasant, bright spot in my day. Judith is very funny and she leaves me a lot of funny comments on YouTube. <laughs> I think Judith, I think Judith would, has a lot of energy, kind of like me. Yeah. So, so what are you guys drinking today? Hey, don't forget to share my video. I'm, I'm letting some of you get away now that my project is done. I like the one. I like you guys that stick around. It makes me happy. <laughs> um, I'm doing my strawberry lemonade. I know, eh, whatever. Yeah, and you know, usually if Steve and I went shopping like we did today, we would then go have lunch someplace. 
Instead, we just brought a dumb old rotisserie chicken home. That's boring. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to the day when we can go out for lunch again. Soon, soon, right? Soon. Are you guys sending out cards? Are you getting the cards sent out? That's what I want to know. Super, super, super important. Haley's drinking lots of water. I know, just like a cow, right? <laughs> Sorry. Maybe I should send this card to you. Oh, look, here's my rhinestone I lost. Darn little things. It's not really dark in here. Let me, I'm going to open my window up. There we go. And I'm really sorry that all this really crummy weather we've had, here's my fault with the snowflakes on the window. Like, what was I thinking? I'll get those off you guys so we can start summer now. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Okay. Anybody have any questions for me? Don't forget about the retirement list. We have lots of things retiring. Over the moon is one of those lots of things. I think this one is too. Love what you do. I could be wrong. And because I hate to tell a lie, I'm going to look it up for you. I think it's retiring. Love what you do. Page 143. You guys know there's a, um, yep, it is. Look at it. Ah. There's an index in the back of the catalog with all the stamp set names on it. So if you're looking for a particular stamp set, that's where I always head to so I don't have to waste too much time. And can I tell you a little secret? Just among friends here. I still haven't opened my new catalog. It's still in the plastic. Don't stone me. I know, right? You guys are like foaming at the mouth waiting for your catalogs and I haven't opened mine. If I didn't have nine videos to make tonight, I would go take the evening off and go look at it. But work first, play later. That's what I do. I work hard, I play harder. Yeah, so that's why I haven't looked at it. <gasps> Connie says she sent out about two dozen cards since stay at home. Good for you. And Wendy's making 24 cards for her niece to take to the nursing home she works at. That is so sweet. Vicki loves over the moon. Terry Sampson, yeah, get rid of the snowflakes. No, Terry, I'm telling you. Oh. oh, Luba sent out eight cards today. Bless your heart. Amy sent 62 cards to all the staff and residents at her mom's retirement residence. That is really, really nice. What else do I have going on here? A Debbie likes Zoom. Thank you, Debbie. I am really, really now, oh, now it's streaming a little bit. Am I breaking up you guys? Maybe it's just my internet. Huh. I'm hoping that it is just my internet. How long are my videos? Um, well, Gail, it depends. Some of them, usually not more than 15 minutes. Um, it just depends on what the card is. But then you have to pull them into an editing software and I have to edit them and put in my titles and my music. And, you know, if I have to stop and go do something at the big shot, I'll put a split in it and bring in a transition so it doesn't look like all stupid. And so editing actually sometimes takes longer than making the video and then uploading to YouTube is a time consuming process, depending on how long the video is sometimes. Um, it can take 30 to 40 minutes to upload a video. And so you got to kind of wait. And then while you're uploading the video, it kind of jacks up your computer. So it doesn't work real good. So then it's frustrating. You might as well just walk away and wait for it to be done and then come back. Because otherwise you just sit and wait and the little pinwheel of death spins a lot. <laughs> so many things, right? You know, more than you needed to know. I am totally sure of that. All right, you guys. I think that okay so terry says she hopes that now terry she says that she hopes i figure out how to get closer when i'm stamping so you see it better now i'm watching this on my laptop and i am very big on the screen and my desktop was very big on the screen so i'm not quite sure are you watching on your phone that could be the problem because it's going to be super small on your phone Okay, what else do I have going on here? Oh, Sherry sent lots of cards. Uh, Sherry, I loved your card that you sent me. She sent lots of cards to church members, graduates, birthdays, anniversaries. That is fabulous. Janice is just getting on. Janice, you'll have to watch from the beginning. There's shenanigans, of course. 
Donna. Yay, Donna's here. She said, I'm hearing you and it sounds like my life. Donna's a demonstrator too, and I know Donna, right? The things, the so many things. I've got deadlines like creeping up on me. They're like biting at my ankles like little chihuahuas. Yeah. All right. I'm going to let you guys go so I can get my work done. And um, oh, she's Jody says I'm far away when I'm working. Huh, interesting. I'll watch that and see what I could do to make it better. <laughs> um, Cindy says it's close enough on her phone. So we'll take a look at it and see. I am always looking to make improvements, right? Yeah. Okay. I always watch on my phone and your desktop is much bigger, further away. Okay, Lisa, thank you. Now I understand what you guys are saying. Because I noticed when I was kind of adjusting my phone that I have a lot more space back here. It's like Zoom has not zoomed it in, but zoomed it out. So, okay, that's good to know. Maybe I can adjust my stand and just pull it down closer. That makes a lot of sense. Thank you guys for sticking with me and getting it through my head, what you're meaning. It's, it looks further away than it used to be. And that makes sense because it's giving me a lot more space on my screen when I'm looking at it. Okay, yeah. All right, and Lisa, by the way, Haley said, thank you so much for the gift for the baby. <laughs> that was for Lisa Nealon. All right, you guys. Have yourselves a wonderful night. I'll be back tomorrow with a little treat thing. Maybe more, maybe not. We'll see. Bye-bye. Now, I have to figure out how to shut this off. <laughs> no, I know how. Have a great night, you guys. Bye-bye.